on well first of all if you're watching this on a replay thank you so much and if you don't mind re typing replay at the bottom I'd appreciate it and as you come on please say hello let me know that you're there sometimes I can't see who comes on and so I can't say hi to you and I'd love to say hello um, so hi Vicki how are you there we go all right, so this is our fuzzing cloth. It is a chalk couture cloth, and I am loving it. Um, and the transfer that the design that I'm going to be using, it's, it's our transfer, and it's saying uh, I'm not adulting today. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. So um, I wanted to put that one on a T-shirt because I really like it. Because sometimes I don't feel like adulting. How about you? <laughs> All right, let's see. So we have our transfer. We have our fuzzing cloth. We have our ink. We have a stirry stick so that we can stir the ink. And then we have a squeegee, okay? And let me just pick this up because it fell. And now I'm gonna lay my t-shirt out okay then we have chocotour has these awesome little mats that go in that go underneath your fabrics so that the ink doesn't go through and it's really nice because do you hear that they're sticky so it holds your fabrics down and i love that i love that it holds your fabric down just so that you can finish your project so what i like to do is i'm going because it is sticky I'm, I just did this number, okay, and I'm gonna stick it inside my shirt, and then I'm gonna open it up in here, and then spread this out. And then, then I can ink it. But you see how nice and, and smooth it is and you're not going to be fighting with it uh, trying to fight with your transfer trying to fight with your t-shirt everything's all nice and pressed so neat all right so um i because we are working with uh fabric we really do not have to uh hi lillian we really do not have to fuzz our transfers. Now we would need to really fuzz it if we are working with, you know, the chalkboards or glass, tin, wood, anything like that, that'll, that your transfer will really stick to. That is what you want to fuzz because uh, you're not protecting your surface, you're protecting your transfer. If you, um, if, let's say I put it on a glass, and I didn't fuzz it, it would be a little hard. It would come off, but I would be kind of tugging and tugging. And then what I can do is I can distort the, the, the transfer and maybe it'll look a little, you know, stretched out in certain areas and your design isn't gonna come out as good as it should. Okay, so you gotta be really careful about um, where you put it um, when it comes to surfaces, okay? So I think that looks, pretty straight. So um, this is a, a very dark gray t-shirt and it's got kind of like off-white um, like little lines going across it. So I thought some silver would uh, um, shimmer silver would look good on that. So I think I think it's pretty straight. Let me let me pick it up real quick guys. I think it'll be fine. I think it's centered, but about as centered as I'm just eyeballing it, guys. I'm just eyeballing it. <laughs> so, hi, Mackenzie. How are you? All right. Let's see. Let me try centering it one more time. I think this is going to be good. And guys, this is good for all our transfers. They can be placed on t-shirts. We've also got some cute, cute stuff for the little ones. Um, I don't have little kids around the house, so I, I never buy them, but 
whenever that time comes for my you know daughter to to have kids you know uh, i'll start buying them but until then um, I do know that we have a lot of cute uh, kid stuff. Anyway, but this is more me. You know, sometimes I just don't feel like adulting, so <laughs> uh, I'm. that's why I wanted to do this transfer. So look at this. I wish you could really see. Can you see that shimmer in there? This is ink. So our, um, our products, you can tell them apart and... Um, and sometimes I confuse them. I will tell you, I've I've thought I've been I thought I was using uh, paste one time when I was using ink, but our inks come with a white lid, okay, and our paste they come with a black lid. But if I'm not paying attention, I've been known to grab the wrong jar. That's just me. All right, so I am. Just going to apply this it look how easy it is this is all I'm doing just applying the ink onto my transfer and all these little spots right here the dark ones are that's where the um, that's where the silk screens are at and that's what's letting you apply an even amount of uh, ink now, if you um, if you work with vinyl, you certainly can make your own designs, but because it doesn't have the silk screen built into it, um, you can see a little difference. You you can tell that um, the ink isn't evenly applied. And I think I did a demo once, and I just didn't like the way it looked. I haven't worn the T-shirt. I just did it as again as a demo and um, I didn't like the way it came out so what I'm doing is because um, this is a darker color I'm just making sure that I am getting all that ink in there making sure that I am getting all the ink that I can and so I'm just going over it and over it and over it the nice thing about this is that you would not be doing this with paste because paste dries easily, but this is ink so I, I can work with it a little bit longer. And because I have all these uh, silkscreen areas, I want to make sure that I'm getting a good amount of ink in there. And so now I'm just going to go back, pick it up, put it back into my jar. And then I'm just going to pick it up lightly and make sure that I've got enough ink everywhere, okay? Hi, Monica. How are you? So I'm just picking it up slowly. And there we go. That looks really cute. I wish I had the light so that y'all can really see it, guys. Let me see if I can pick it up. So it's a shimmer, and I don't know if you can tell, um, but it is a shimmer. Isn't that cute? I'm not adulting today. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. I love it. Um, so then after this, guys, uh, let me, I know that I had, I had my little, um, had a little note up here and I, if I move the camera, you're not gonna, all right, guys, my note is right behind my camera. I'm so sorry. There it is. Leave it up to me to put it behind, behind this. All right. So when it comes to inks, you have to heat press it so that um, it stays on. If not, part of the ink is gonna come off and, and it's gonna look terrible. So you're gonna have to heat set it. So you can do it with an iron or um, if you have a Cricut press, you can also, I don't have it mine with me right here, but um, if you have a Cricut press, you can also do it with that. And if you do have a, a Cricut press, easy press, you would need to put parchment paper and you can leave it at 305 degrees 
and you're gonna wanna do it for 30 seconds on the front, and then you're gonna turn it over, put the par parchment paper on it again, and then you're gonna wanna set your, um, your uh, easy uh, uh, press again for another 30 seconds, all right? If you're doing it with an iron, the only thing that you have to make sure that you do is um, uh, when you are iron it ironing it over the uh, parchment paper, you want to take the steam off. You don't want the steam on, so make sure that you turn that, that baby off, okay? So that's the only difference. So you do not need anything special. An iron will do. I am gonna let this dry for about 30 minutes. Then I am going to put it on this mat. It's from Cricut as well, and it's so that you can do your ironing on it. And um, so I'll put that in between my t-shirt and I'll press it and I'll be done. And I will post this when I'm all done. Guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know, put them in the comments below. I always go back after my lives to review um, uh, the questions. Um, if you don't have anything for me right now, guys, I will see you tomorrow. You all have an awesome night. Bye guys.